Hope you are having a great day wherever you are and comfy and ready to get this story started. I am so excited about this story today and let me tell you why. Everybody, everybody has something that makes them different. And I think it's how you embrace those differences that makes you who you are. So I found this story today that is about this little girl who has something that makes her a little different. And I love the journey she goes through to realize that this is okay. And I've thought of my own example (laughs) at the end of the story that I'm gonna share with you. And then I'm gonna ask you to share some things related to this story that make you different. And I would love to hear some of those things in the comments after this video. And I think it's such a good story and such a good attitude. Our differences are what makes us so special. So this story today is called Spaghetti in a Hot Dog Bun. (laughs) Having the courage to be who you are. And this story is by Maria Desmondi. Illustrations by Kimberly Shaw Peterson. Look at this girl. All right, let's get started. Spaghetti in a hot dog bun. The delicious smell of breakfast filled the air as Lucy's grandpa handed her a plate. Lucy smeared ketchup on her toast. She turned to her grandpa and said, Papa Gino, Harriet said she's never heard of ketchup on toast. Her family uses butter and jelly. And these pictures are kind of small in this story, so I'm going to put it real close. So y'all can kind of try to see those pictures with me. There's a picture of her Papa Gino. Or her grandpa, or grandfather, her papa. It's okay. Not everyone likes the same thing, Lucy. It doesn't mean one person is right or wrong. We're all different. What a boring world it would be if we were all exactly alike. Do you remember what's really important? Papa Gino asked. There's Lucy. Yes, Papa, even if we are all different different from others on the outside, we all have a heart with feelings on the inside. That's my girl. Remember, when you treat others with love and kindness, you are doing the right thing, Papa Gino replied. There's Lucy sitting on the bus with some friends. On the school bus, Lucy and her friend Harriet pulled out some paper and crayons. Sitting across from them was Ralph. As usual, Ralph sat alone, staring out the window. He looked over at them and rolled his eyes. In the classroom, Lucy sat down near the teacher. Miss Marcia waited to begin as the children settled into their seats. Ralph carelessly hurried over and tripped on Lucy's foot. Before long, he was glaring at her. Ralph whispered, Woof! I can't see the book with this poodle in front of me. Lucy could hear him giggling behind her. Oh no, why did it have to be me? She wondered. And on the backboard, you can see this is friendship week in this classroom. It's lunchtime. During lunch, Harriet shouted one of her silly jokes over the other children's voices. As the girls ate, their bellies shook with laughter. Across the table, Ralph hollered, Yuck! That's a disgusting smell! 
Who ever heard of eating spaghetti in a hot dog bun? Don't you think that's gross, Tony? It's not very nice. Hmm. Tony and the other children at the table turned away from Ralph, shaking their heads. Ralph continued, poor little Lucy with her hair so poofy. Tears filled Lucy's eyes and she began to cry. Hmm. On the way home, Lucy thought about what had happened. Maybe Ralph is mean to me because he thinks being different is bad. I wish he would stop teasing me. Oh, Ralph. Slowly, Lucy stepped off the bus. How was your day? Papa Gino asked. Fine, she mumbled. Papa reached over and pulled a crayon out of her hair. How did this happen? He asked. Lucy didn't say a word. That night, as Papa Gino tucked Lucy into bed, he asked, Is everything all right at school? Lucy rolled over. He leaned down, kissed her on the cheek, and whispered, Always remember, Papa is here for you. If something's not right, we can work on fixing it together. It's not that easy, thought Lucy. How do I stop Ralph from teasing me? How can he have a heart and be so mean? Lucy had a hard time falling asleep, worrying what would happen tomorrow. The following day, Lucy was surprised to find Ralph leaving her alone until... Lucy, I'm sorry about yesterday, Ralph snickered. Lucy took the bag Ralph handed her. Inside were dog bones and a picture with a note that read... Whoa. What did the note say? Lucy, Lucy, eat stinky food that puts us in a big, bad mood. Lucy, Lucy, hair shaped like a cone. Here's a treat for you, a yummy dog bone. Hmm. The beating of Lucy's heart was so loud, she knew everyone around her could hear it. Her body began to tremble, and she tore the note into pieces. Stop! It hurts my feelings when you do this, Ralph. Lucy said, please stop. Ralph turned and walked away. There's Lucy outside. It was recess time and Lucy played alone. She didn't want to tell Miss Marcia about Ralph. She was afraid of being a tattletale. Lucy wished Papa Gina was there to help. What should I do? She asked herself over and over. The bell rang as recess ended. Help! cried a child off in the distance. Tony ran up and yelled. Ralph got himself stuck at the top of the monkey bars. It's the funniest thing I've ever seen. I don't know if that's very nice either. This is my chance. I'll go tell Ralph how mean he really is. M-E-A-N, mean, Lucy said under her breath. She stomped off toward the monkey bars. And she looks determined. When she reached Ralph, Lucy paused. She looked him in the eye and said, what you did was so mean. Standing before Ralph, Lucy could hear her papa's words. Ralph did have a heart with feelings. There's Lucy and Ralph. It 
In that moment, she decided what she would do. Lucy started to climb up the monkey bars. She saw tears in Ralph's eyes. He hesitated to move and whispered, I'm scared. Lucy reached for him and said, here, take my hand. And she helped him down. The two walked back to the classroom without saying a word. On the way home, Lucy sang songs with Harriet. As the bus pulled up to her stop, Ralph suddenly reached over and handed her a picture. Lucy was amazed by what she saw. Thanks, she muttered softly. To Lucy. Looks like a little dinosaur. After she got off the bus, Lucy reached for her papa's hand and said, Papa, there's this boy, Ralph, who was really mean to me. Today he was in trouble, and I helped him. Papa Gino hugged Lucy and replied, That took a lot of courage. It wasn't the easiest thing to do. You chose to be a good person and to treat others the way you wanted to be treated. I'm so proud of you, Lucy. Hmm. As they walked home, she asked him what was for dinner. When Papa Gino said spaghetti, Lucy knew immediately what she would have for lunch the next day. Her favorite sandwich. Spaghetti in a hot dog bun. I absolutely love this story because who has not run into somebody who gives them a hard time because of something that they, makes them different? And the way that Lucy embraced what made her different and showed kindness towards somebody that was making her feel like she should be ashamed or embarrassed of that. And she didn't let that make her behave mean towards this boy. She didn't let it make her into a person that she wasn't. She helped him. And you know what? She brought her spaghetti in a hot dog bun the next day. And she keeps being who Lucy is. And I love this story. Um, so I'm going to share with you a little snack that I was thinking about. I was thinking, okay, what kind of snack do I like that I could maybe fit into Lucy's shoes and that some people might look at and be like, oh, that's weird. That's different. That's gross. Um, I, this is since I was a little girl, but I eat celery sticks sometimes. I'll put mayonnaise on them with some seasoning. And I love this snack. It's always so great. It's one of my go-tos if I'm just wanting a little something. So I want you who are watching my friends to tell me a snack or something that you eat and enjoy that others might look at and think gross and they might not understand. And you know what? I want you to keep eating it and keep enjoying it and keep showing kindness to those who don't maybe understand because that's okay. Being different is a good Thing, and it makes life so much more fun and so much more interesting. So share with me some of your differences. I'd love to hear them. And let's just keep showing those out into the world. So thank you, friends. I see you here. Thank you for joining in my story with me today. I hope you liked it. I love this story. So have a great rest of your day, guys. Bye, friends.